what is up you guys so i'm back here today doing another vegan what i eat in a day while not tracking so i'm not going to be tracking my macros i'm just going to be eating what i want when i want and i will be eating to satiety so i'm not going to be eating past the point of comfort jeff and i are going to be starting off at more sam Pan pancake house again because i just i love more sam pancake house and so does he it's nice that they have vegan options as well as meat options for jeff I'm not going to be getting the hollow French toast, which is what I got last time. I'm kind of feeling blueberry pancakes today, and if I'm still hungry after that, I'll probably get a side of sweet potato fries, because they have the best sweet potato fries out there. I will see you guys when we get there. So Jeff and I just went to Morrison Pancake House, and as you saw, we had some pancakes, and I had some sweet potato fries, and then he had a whole bunch of stuff, like an omelet, and then hollow French toast. So we walked around for quite a bit, and I honestly was craving something sweet still, just because the pancakes were not really that sweet. So I got some carrot cake. It's actually coconut carrot cake. I'm not the biggest coconut fan, but I mean, carrot cake, I'll, I'll take it. I just want something with frosting. Eat that mother. Nice. First bite. Mm. Honestly, it's um it's a little dry. It's not the best. The icing is not the not the greatest. It's still good, but I don't know. It's not great. I don't think I would get this again. We got it at this really natural grocery store here in Morristown, New Jersey. They have like all fresh, it's basically like a Whole Foods, but a smaller version of it. So they have like all fresh food, um, all uh, bakery. I'm just gonna finish this off camera and I'll get back to you guys next time I eat. So it's been about an hour since you guys last saw me eating the carrot cake. I'm still a little bit hungry. The carrot cake slice, I'm not sure if you could tell by the clip, but the slice was very, very small. I didn't want a big slice because I've never had it before and I didn't want to commit to something that I didn't like. So uh, next I'm having these vegan buffalo soy nuggets. You guys saw me have this before in a previous video and you'll know if you saw that video that these are amazing. Even my little brother who eats buffalo wings about every other day from Buffalo Wild Wings. This is why mom doesn't love you. He even loves these. So I'm gonna enjoy these. Probably not gonna be, eat the whole thing in that one sitting, but I mean, I'll try. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm I love really, really spicy food, so what I actually do is I add more hot sauce on top of these. So I'm gonna do that now, and I'll catch up with you guys for my next meal. So last time I saw you, I believe I was eating the vegan soy buffalo wings. So I actually finished the whole container. It's actually, I'm not even mad. That's amazing. <laughs> and I sat down for a couple of hours, probably maybe like an hour and a half, just to, I guess, digest before I go to the gym. I made myself um, pre-workout. As you'll see either in this clip or the next clip, I use two different pre-workouts. I might make a video as to explaining 
guess pre-workout and then uh, vegan pre-workouts I recommend. The reason I use two different ones is because I really like the effects of the second one I used. So the one that had white powder, however the taste is unflavored and even though it's unflavored it has more of a funky taste. The first one I used in the black container has an absolutely amazing taste. That flavor was sour gummy worm. I believe putting them both together, it just creates that absolutely perfect pre-workout mix. So that's why I use two of them. On top of that, I take a creatine pill every day before I go to and work out with my pre-workout. Oh, my voice is like dying right now. I'm gonna go work out and then I'll come back and I'll catch back up with you guys then. Hey guys, so it's quite a bit later since I saw you last. I believe it's like three and a half hours later. So I went to the gym, had a pretty good workout, and I just made dinner. So I made these high style veggie dumplings by the brand Nasoya. I also added Rao's, Rao, R-A-L, what a Rao's, um, homemade marinara sauce to it and a ton of my own spices, just because I like really spicy food. I may also end up adding hot sauce. I love the taste of hot sauce and gravy together. And on the side, I also have this Owen plant-based drink. It's a protein drink. Macros on this are absolutely amazing. 20 grams of protein. I've had the cold brew coffee flavor, the vanilla flavor, and Jeff has had the strawberry banana flavor, and he said it's absolutely amazing. So Owen actually just released this cookies and cream flavor. I'm really, really excited to try it. It's almost kind of like, hopefully, I really hope it's almost like a dessert. All right, let's try this one first. It just tastes like a vanilla protein shake. It's still good, but you could tell that it's a protein shake. <laughs> you could definitely tell it's not like a, a super sugary drink. If I was blindfolded and I tried this, I would know right away that this was uh, a protein drink. It's still good though. It's still really good. It still has like a really good sweetness to it. I'm gonna enjoy that on the side. Now here we go. I've never tried. As you can see, I added a lot of sauce to it. I love really, really saucy um, pasta. What's the matter with you? All I said was a little too much sauce. It's no big deal, really. So I've never tried this dumpling. Um, let's see how this goes. Really good, because it's Thai style dumpling. I actually wish that I made this with like soy sauce or something, like soy sauce and like tahini, more of a like an Asian style because I made it more of like an Italian style dish. Still really good, but I do think it would be better with the other ingredients. So I would actually buy these dumplings again. I'm just gonna enjoy this. This is definitely my last meal of the day. Right now it is 8.15 p.m. Um, if you guys can see that, it's 8.15. I'm going to enjoy this. Pretty, it's kind of late to eat dinner, but I usually eat late dinners. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to do this or continue this series, let me know down below. Throw me a like if you like the video, and subscribe if you not are not already subscribed. There goes my grandfather clock. See you guys later. Light it up, light it up, light it up.